welcome back to Satisfactory Guys. In today's episode, trains, trains, and more trains. Well, there's a little bit of trains anyway. We're going to build the main line, we're going to complete a full loop of the island, and also we're going to tentatively start making the turbo engines factory. Very tentatively. It's a massive undertaking. It's the most complicated recipe in the game, and I'm not looking forward to it. So I'm going to start building the extension. We're going from the supercomputer factory. We'll first go through this valley and then there's a massive gap so we'll have to put pylons really high to keep the trap just about the right height and then later on we've got to go cliffside round the eastern side of the map till we come back to where the rubber factory is. It's going to take a bit of an effort so hopefully we'll get this done today. This first section should be pretty straightforward. The track's pretty straight. We've got a slight curve to the right there. Later on, hook on the cliffside, there is some gas fields as well, so that's going to be a bit of a pain. Um, the good thing about this valley is coming up, it's got uh, big oil deposits, so eventually, pretty soon actually, probably for the turbo engine factory, we'll actually use that oil for making the plastic. So here's our first tricky section, hopefully we should have enough room to get to this gap. If I can get the angle just right, we'll do sort of like an s curve shape bend around here. Yeah, we're going to have enough room easily, aren't we? Three blocks. Yes, just nicely hug the side, we're going to be fine here. First part of the cave, I'm really happy with that. I'm not sure whether I should go straight ahead there now. I'm looking at that gap between that little stick, what, what would you call that, a root coming out of the ground? I think it's made of stone. I don't think we're going to have the gap to get through that, so let's go straight past it, then we'll curve to the left, I think. Put some pylons into the rock, I think, rather than going straight down to the ground. Right after a ton of trial and error, trying to get the height right, I think I finally got a nice curve here going around this little corner. Yeah, I'm really happy with that S-Bend. That looks pretty good, actually. Hopefully we're not going to be clipping into that. What we're going to call? Are we going to call this the root stone thing? <laughs> it needs a better name. It is bizarre, isn't it? To me, that's like a root coming out of the ground, made of stone. So I'll delete all these foundations and then we'll move on to the next section. Hopefully we'll speed up again because I think we are going slightly straight. I think there's a slight curve to the left coming up. Yeah, it took us a lot of foundations, as you can see, to get to the height, roughly at the right level. So I had a good couple of sections of straight track which speeded the whole thing up and now we're coming back to a cave right in front of us here as we're looking it's to the right hand side there is a gas field so I'm trying to slightly V to the right just to avoid it and yeah we're, we're over halfway now we're nearly at the one o'clock position we've got to get to what would you say that is five o'clock looking at the rubber mine so we're probably a good 60 70 percent way around the map I'm guessing anyway So the gas field's now on the left hand side, I want a slight curve to the left, just a smidgen of a curve, just so we start curving around, avoiding this huge mountain, rock, whatever you want to call it, right in front of us. Just got to be careful I don't attract to hit this gas field. Oh, we're going to be right on the edge of it here, aren't we? Yeah, let's walk forward, see if we're going to start dying of gas. It's looking okay so far. Yeah, that looks all right. We should be fine. Let's carry on building the rest of the track. Then. So a bit of a struggle here. We've hit the rock. Hopefully I can get a cave back around the other side now. I think that's looking pretty good. We look really tight to it. So then after this, we can just go straight ahead. And then it's probably a slight veer to the right. This should be pretty quick going after this because it's all open up. We can just put the pylon straight into the side of the mountain. Hopefully no more fiddly curves for a while anyway. Right, let's put the first two bits of the joiner track on. And then we'll join the track up to the rest of the main line. And hopefully this cave is going to look okay. Wow, that's a lot of um, gas plants over there. Oh, that's looking good. Look at that nice like an S-bend. 
all the way around to the other side. It's just avoiding the gas fields. It's really hugging the gas fields, actually. I'm quite happy with that. Yep, that was really worth the effort. So after a couple of sections of straight track, we're back to us. I need a slight curve just on this mountainside. I think I've got a good angle here. We'll delete all these foundations and now let's hopefully join this little bit of track up. And the moment of truth, have we got enough of a curve here? And does it look okay? Yes, that looks really natural. Just a slight curve. That's exactly what I'm looking for. This is going really well. Something's got to go wrong here. I'm sure of it. After a couple of straight sections, I'm starting to look at this rock ahead of us. And I'm slightly worried we're actually going to hit this. So let's do a slight elevation in the track, I think. Oh, it's so close. What do you think? Would we just go over the top? Slight elevation, we're going to clear it easily, I think. I think that was a very good call on my part. Look at that. We've just cleared it. Well, what do you think? One tiny foundation of concrete? It might not even be that gap. The actual big block of concrete, I think it's virtually just sitting on the rock. We've cleared it anyway. That's the main thing. So let's add the filler bits of track, then we'll line this thing up. And the track's joined on. Let's have a look where we are on the map. Oh, we're slowly motoring. Actually, we've got, done a good chunk of track today already. And we only did a slight rise, but that looks a lot more than what I thought. Hmm. I think at later, a later point, I might lower this foundation right in front of us here. Just so the track's more gradual. It's bizarre. It's, it just seems so steep. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, we haven't cleared that rock by much, have we? So let's motor on. We'll probably go straight ahead. Yeah, but then we'll probably do a slight curve to the left and a slight curve to the right. Hopefully I finally nailed this. Oh, this tiny curve. I just want a really tiny one. Just so it's hugging the mountainside. That's the look I'm going for. Delete these bits of foundations, put the ramps in, and hopefully this track will clear. I am slightly worried about it clipping into the hillside. The track just wouldn't see a reach, so I had to move the whole foundation. Just one block further forward, and we did it. The curve, it looks okay. This section here, there is three or four oil fields, I think. So eventually, we'll have a big refinery here, maybe. For, what is it for? For the plastic, for the turbo engine factory. But, that'll be in a few episodes time. Ah, oh, right in front of us, we've got another gas field. Um, how much of a rise do you think should we start doing it now? Ooh, I think if we keep going straight, we're going to hit that thing, aren't we? Or are we? Ooh, it's a toughie. Hmm, what do you guys think? So I did a couple of little rises. I managed to get past the gas fields pretty easily, actually, in the end. See, two little rises up, then up again, and we're over the top. So now let's motor on ahead. There is a slight mountain ahead, so we'll probably have to veer to the right, veer to the left, past the gas field, and then it's a massive open section. This is where we're going to be building the bridge really high in the air because there's like a sort of a swamp area coming up. So we should be motoring pretty quick after that. We made it past the mountain okay, let's put the filler tracks in and hopefully this will okay past it now. Yeah, we're just fine. I did another little ride, it looks okay. Yeah, you can see the track, it's sort of like a slight roller coaster. The height's pretty good here if I don't kill myself and we're well above the gas field. So now 
We should just motor on ahead. These few next sections will get them done pretty quick. We are right on the corner now of the Red Desert that goes into the swamp area. This is a really nice place on the map. There's loads of nodes and especially a lot of coal nodes on the seafront. So we may put a power station there. I'm unsure at this point. But hopefully we'll get around this corner. Then we'll just go straight ahead over the top of the swamp. And then we'll get into the eastern side of the map where we'll be hugging the mountainsides. We're now well into the swamp area. Maybe another five, six, seven straight sections of track. And then we'll start doing a right curve. You can actually see the mountains. We're just, we're just going to need a slight right just so we hit them. And then the track, we'll put pylons into the mountainside. And it'll start hugging all the way around. And eventually we'll come back to where the rubber factory is. I managed to do the curve pretty well. And now we're going to hit land again. I think there's a few of the plant creatures in here that spew the gas off. We'll probably kill them. But actually this is looking pretty good. We're going to go right through this arch and then we'll start hugging the mountain on the right hand side. I am starting to worry about the height of the rubber factory. Should have come from the other side I'm wondering so we can join up about this sort of location. Because I probably will have to start coming up won't I? Because I'm thinking we're a lot higher than what the actual rubber factory is. Hmm. I'll have to have a think about this. And we're motoring again, nice straight sections of track. I'm worried how we're not going to put the pylons. What I've got to be mind is I could put one pylon into that mountainside, do a sort of a bridge girder system all the way across, then another pylon in the other mountainside. Because the, the bottom of the world, you can't even see it, we're so high up right now. Yeah, I think that's the, the good solution to the problem. Right, we'll start doing a right curve here. Then we'll hug. I want to hug the mountainside as good as I can. Kind of make it like a mountain railway. This is going so well, guys. Look at the curves. I'm following the mountainside really well. This next section, it's going to be a bit trickier. I've got to do pretty tight left hand turn, I think, here. And then, it, I think it is slightly a turn. You're going in and out on the mountainside. Yeah, it's, a, it's probably the trickiest part I've had to do so far. I've now managed to get around the corner. This was super awkward. I still think I should turn this point here a little bit more. But for now, I think I'll live with it. Ooh, what do you, what do you guys think? I should have not lived with it. <laughs> yeah, some parts of it just aren't joining very well. Hopefully, yeah, that's fixed it now, right? Let's carry on. I'm starting to think this railroad might be too high. The rubber factory. I just saw a glimpse of the heavy frame factory. And you were virtually just seeing the top of the factory itself. So I'm thinking this thing could be way too high. So this section here, I might have to delete it all. Which I'm not looking forward to. Hopefully we'll get around the corner, see where the, the rubber factory is. And we won't have to delete anything. Fingers crossed. Oh, I know my worst fears have been realised. We're way too high above the rubber factory. So what I'll do is I'll build this ramp all the way down to the rubber factory. Then we'll start building the track from that side. Gradually we'll increase the height all the way around the side of the mountain. And hopefully at some point we'll meet with the other part of the track. That's the plan anyway. Right, we're on our way back now. We're slowly climbing around the side of the mountain here. It's a bit fiddly because we're so close to the mountain. We're actually, it, it's easier to make the bends and the curves because you just, eventually you'll get a point on the concrete where it actually turns blue. You stick it in the side of the mountain and they get your little turn that you want. Hopefully this shouldn't take too long.
Well, we're closing the gap pretty quickly now. I'm thinking just round this bend and the tracks probably will just about join. What do you think? Yeah, pretty good guess. We're now actually at the pylons for the ones just above us. So one section, maybe two at most, the tracks will join up. Then I'll have to delete all the tracks. Then hopefully we'll have a full loop of the island. I can't believe this is actually going to be done. And voila, the final piece of the track, it all joins up nicely. I've still got all that work of deleting all the overhead section of the track. There is quite a bit of it. Put the power wire in. Then, next job I'll get to eventually. I'm not sure when. I've got to put the pylons in for all this track. And it's like half an island's worth, isn't it? So I'll, I'll probably do a section at a time when I'm in that sort of area, just to get it done eventually. Never drop down, drop down, smoking high am I am not round, I'm not round, no denying what I got now, I got now, keep an eye out, keep it locked down, locked down, see me flying, never drop down, drop down, smoking high am I am not round, I'm not round, no denying what I got now, I got now, keep an eye out, keep it locked down, locked down, get too strong when I battle with the beast, bring a few on, the commander and the chief for my crew. Walk. Bullets rattling and whistle at your two can never sleep eyes open hands clutching on my throat this a war zone This a war zone Yo this a motherfucking war zone Zone, homie, say you ready and prepare. Take a minute, make them aware. Well, I'll be sneaking in the back, but it's what the clap on me. Life ain't fair. Caught me crawling through the mud where the vision saw it clearly. Born a shepherd to these sheep, make them fear me. This a war zone, trashed out, trap house, nothing ever given. Yeah, every day's a blessing. Thank the Lord, oh, how I'm living. See me riding with my top down, no cops round, pedal pressing on the gas. I don't think I'll ever stop. And after a massive effort, the train mainline around the island, it's complete. I will probably add some more sections later on, most likely for the northern desert areas, but for now, it's finished, finito, done with. So next, we need to start thinking about turbo engines. It's the last big item to make and probably the most complicated in the game. First up, what do we need? Well, as per usual, we need more power. But instead of putting a power station down, I decided to make use of the geothermal power generators. It's all free power. So in the map itself, there's 18 nodes for the geothermal power generator. That is a lot to say. <laughs> okay, now I'm getting rid of all the bee creatures or the bee plant creatures. Did we decide on a name yet? I'm not quite sure. These two nodes, they're pretty close to the heavy frames factory. In the last patch, the actual 
generators themselves, they were slightly changed. It used to be like a static output of like 100 megawatts, 200 megawatts. Now it, it has a range, it kind of fluctuates, goes up and down. So me, I'm just going to use the lowest point in, in the power, then I think, right, that's how much I've got. Let's run the line all the way back to the heavy frames factory and then we'll have our first bit of free power. See what I mean about the range? This one can go anywhere from 200 to 600. So in my, I just keep it at 200 in my mind. It doesn't matter what it goes up to. Because then you definitely know you can use that much power. So currently we have, I think it was 10,000 megawatts, 10,800 megawatts. So that's the number to remember in your head. After we put down all the generators, we'll look, see how much we've got. The next node, it's right in the north area, roughly where the supercomputer factory is, the power station type area. Quick scan, it's around here somewhere. And there we are. Oh, it's right in that water area. Remember to bring your guns and bombs if you're going to do this. All the nodes seem to be pretty well protected, actually. Two bee creatures and a dog creature this time. Now it's cleared, it's down. What have we got? Yeah, another range of 200 to 600. Nice. The geothermal generators themselves are pretty expensive to make, so it is a later game item. I suppose you could make them by hand, but it would be... It would take quite a while. You need 8 supercomputers, 16 heavy modular frames, 16 high speed connectors, 40 copper sheets and 80 pieces of rubber. So the supercomputers, the heavy frames, the high speed connectors, they're going to be a bit of a pain to make by hand I think. Right, let's go and get the next ones. And number 4, it's pretty close to the power station that we've got. The power station number two is actually on a hill up the right hand side there. This one it was just covered by regular dog creatures. Wasn't too hard to get to. And let's have a look. And it's not a bad one again. 100 to 500. Nice range there. But this is one of the easiest ones to get to I think. Dog creature wise anyway. <laughs> So not far from the EI factory, it's just ahead of us there. There's two nodes here, again, three creatures, I think there was a pair of them here. There wasn't any dog creatures though. Let's get rid of these guys. And let's stick the nodes down and see what they are. Oh, uh, actually there's two, I thought there was. The next two nodes, there's quite a few nodes grouped around in this sort of area. They're all in the centre of the map, they're just down below, there's, there's two there. And there's also several more around in this area. There's quite a few dog creatures that fire spewing kind. And a few bee creatures as well. So let's build a ramp and get down there. When I got down here there was two more dog creatures that fire spewing kind. So I've cleared them and luckily we should be done now. Put the poles in and let's get all that lovely fairy power. So as you can see, we're bang centre in the map. The next one, it's over that ridge somewhere. So let's delete the ramp because I doubt we'll be coming back down here. And we'll go and get the other one. Well, how many are we up to now? What's that? Uh, I think that's seven and eight there. Halfway there nearly. So the one over the ridge, I finally got here. But um, I'm running out of bullets. I may have to go back to base. This place is just riddled with them. Bees, dogs gas oh it's, it's not a nice place to be actually i've never been in this part of the map so i'm learning something new yet what i'm learning is not to come back i'm down to 59 bullets and i don't think i'm going to clear all these Ugh. and finally cleared the last of them so there's number nine down let's run the line back probably where the other two are we'll join the power supply there Totally typical, I just deleted that ramp from the other two and I'm going back down again and making another one. Just along the valley floor, about four or five hundred metres away, there's another node. I didn't even see this on the map, it's a bit weird. It didn't come on the scanner last time, it has now. But 
we've got the old June buggy, so let's just drive through there and save some bullets. Because I'm down to 55 now. <laughs> I'm going to have to go to back to base at some point. If we're lucky, we can stick this generator down without shooting that guy over there. Is he coming any closer? Can you see? Oh, he's wandering. I think he's going away from us right now. Anyway, let's try and run the line back to the other two generators. And then we'll go and find some more. This is, what's this, number 10. Yes, we're over halfway now. The next two, they're in the northern desert area. You can just see the main line in the background pretty close. So what I'll do, I'll just run a line from there. Uh, it's riddled with bay creatures. I'm not sure what else is here. I'm down to 39 bullets. Every shot's got to count now. So that's number 11 and number 12 down. It's been a bit sketchy getting this one. I'm down to 31 rounds now. I'm using my sword as well. I'm nearly out of dynamite. I'm using just about everything I can think of. Even not even shooting people if I can help it. So we'll run the line back to the train line over there and that'll get us onto the grid. So number 13, kind of missed this one. Uh, it's not too far away from the one near the power stations or the actual two down in the dip. It's kind of in between. A few big creatures in this area. The usual dog creatures. It's not too bad, actually. Oh, this, the gas spewing plants. You may need some dynamite for them. I actually did go back to base. I was down to like four bullets, and I thought, I, I can't finish all this on them sort of rounds because we've got to go to the swamp area, and the swamp area is just totally nasty. Why has that power gone off? Oh, it's drawn power for me jetpack. Right, yeah. I couldn't figure that one out. <laughs> right, I've driven over the other side of the map. We're now in the eastern swamp area. I hate coming here. I never have a good time at all in this area. And accidentally, I've driven to this cave. It's full of, I think, four boss spiders. And these guys are really wanting to kill me. I'm not getting out of this car for all the team, China. Is there another one? Yeah, there's one over the left there, one over the right, and two behind us. Uh, how are we going to get out of here? Miraculously, I did live. They didn't get us. It did take some getting out of that. It took us a good another five minutes or so, just slowly driving the car on. Eventually, I found the exit. So, these are the first ones in this area in the swamp. It's absolutely riddled. Fire spewing dogs, bees, gas, and um, during the night in this in the swamp area, it is awful. It's full of boss spiders, regular spiders. I just don't want to be here. Let's put these generators down and get out of here. So I think I finally cleaned out the last of them. So that's numbers fourteen and fifteen down. Let's wire these up. Um. We we're going to wire them up to though. We're in the absolute middle of nowhere. I have nothing in this sort of area because I don't like being here. <laughs> um, yeah, let's, let's wire them up to the next ones and then we'll figure it out from there. We might actually hit the train line if we're lucky. Okay, finally made it. I've cleared most of them out. I think this guy's the last dog creature. Is he dead? Yes, he's dead. Oh, thank heavens for that. Right. Yeah, I'm just flying everywhere on the power nodes. I'm just sick of all these creatures. This swamp area, it is really nasty. It rivals the central area where I have the aluminium mine. Let's pick up some food. Right, there is three nodes here, so it is worth coming here. And luckily, generator 16, 17, 18, they're pretty close to the main line. Look at that. It's right on top of it, virtually. Ish. <laughs> so let's run a power line to there. I'll probably have to build a pylon because none of the main line really, in this area anyway, has any pylons. At last, pylon built. Let's get this thing wired up into the main line and let's see how much power we've got. So we were on 10,800 roughly, we're now on say 14,200, that looks a good number. So who's good at mass? How many was that? 2,400? Is that right? No, 3,400 you fool. 
So a few hours work, it probably was two to three hours to get all the generators put down and you get 3400 power minimum. It does fluctuate like I said. Right guys, I think I'm going to leave it there. We've done an awful lot already. Uh, the main line's completed. I've got to do all the pylons. I'll probably do that off camera. We put down some more power, so we're getting like, what, 14,000? I'm happy with that. So, next time we'll do, we'll make a start on the turbo engines. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time for some more Satisfactory. Bye for now.